Hey YouTube, I'm Derek, welcome back to my workshop. We are doing a formal review on the Harbor Freight like Central Forge 6 inch bench vise. If this is your first time on my channel and first time clicking on one of my videos, please go down and hit subscribe so you don't miss other videos like this. I do projects, tour reviews, all kinds of different things. So if this is the kind of stuff you're into, garage, welding type work, you know, DIY stuff, please uh, click subscribe so you don't miss out. So moving right into the review of the vise, I've had it for about six or eight months and I've been really happy with it so far. I had to just kind of tell you a little bit about it. It has three mounting points, one, two, three. It is a cast iron vise, as you are probably well aware if you're thinking of purchasing this. And uh, it's also got replaceable jaws. It is a six inch vise across this way six inches and if you'll give me a moment while I open this up you can get about six and a half inches out of it uh, just maybe a tad bit more but I probably wouldn't go more than that uh, it does swivel 360 degrees I don't want to loosen those but you'll just have to take my word for it it swivels all the way around now, uh, with a little bit of close-ups on this, you can see that it's pretty well used. I've scratched up with my grinder a few times. It's quite dirty. I've been using it a lot. I think you can get it for 48 bucks, which is a steal of a deal because like the next closest one that I think I saw was like the Bessies from Home Depot that are like 80 for the six inch. So almost twice as much and I think you're getting probably pretty darn close to the same quality out of this guy. So is this to say that this is the best vice in the world? Is this to say that this is the best vice for this task or that task? No, it's just a really good general purpose vice that I've been really happy with. Been using it for about six months and I've not really beat the tar out of it, but that's because I know that cast iron vices are the lowest end and I know that you can't beat the tar out of them. If you're looking for something you can just beat up, like hammer down the uh, vise with and uh, you know, hammer down pieces of steel that's in the jaws or whatever, you know, you might wanna go look for a forged steel or maybe at the very least like a cast steel vise. Uh, where this is, like I said, cast iron, and it's just not going to hold up to abuse like that. But with that being said, it still can handle pretty good jobs. I know that you saw the videos from the beginning. None of that stuff is really uh, abusive to it. It was all just kind of general work. It's the perfect third hand that I can think of, and it's even more than that. It's a super strong, durable, tight holding third hand. I have put rusty nuts and bolts inside of the jaws and loosened them. I've pressed in bearings with it, you know, lightly, not like car bearings or anything, but small wheel bearings. And just done all kinds of all purpose tasks that I even, after looking through all my video footage, things I knew I did that apparently I didn't get. It has a 90 day warranty as pretty much all Harbor Freight tools do. It's not under the lifetime warranty, but I really do like their vice 
And I really do think for 48 bucks, it's a good option. Not to mention, you could have multiple of them if you got a big enough workshop where you might want them in multiple places. Maybe consider picking one up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like. Leave me a comment if you have this vice and if you like it. And click subscribe, of course, for future content from my workshop. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.